Hey there, Tim and Eric, Tim, I'm back at you. Have you ever had a gas leak around your house or place of business and you wanted to check it out without, you know, having to call somebody and spend a bunch of money? I've got the tool for you. This is the Top Tez Combustible Gas Leak Detector and this is the PT520B+. This is a great tool. It's a reasonable price. I will leave a link in the description uh, down to this, to the Amazon store, if you want to check it out and, and see. And uh, also, there will be a discount code that uh, TopTez sent me. That will be in the description with it as well. So, okay. so I got this box in from, uh, this is a combustible leak detector from TopTez. And they sent this to me, uh, asked me to do a review. Now this um, is a gas leak detector for propane, uh, regular gasoline, uh, anything combustible and it's got, it comes in a really nice case I'll get into a review uh, here in a little bit but I'm gonna do a review with this um, when you turn the gas leak detector on it checks your battery and then it goes through a 30 second countdown and I kind of set this up to where you can see it 30 second countdown and then what I did here a moment ago I took this um, igniter and put it on on my gas my burns o -matic, um, 70 TS 8000 I put that on my gas tank here and uh, I use this for plumbing plumbing purposes and when I took it off I actually did a little bit a little bit of a test here and put it up here and put it right here and you can see it's doing a reading of course it's not a uh, a high reading now it's showing a little bit more of a reading from from the gas that was left over so that's pretty cool so if you Give it some fresh air and go back down to zero. And then if I, like I said, this is just residual gas uh, from when I took the the uh, igniter gun off there. And it's not a dangerous level, obviously. Otherwise it'd be in the red. So that's pretty neat. So, what I do like about it, this this has a very long uh, lead. I think it's like 18 to 20 inches, and it's bendable, so you can literally put it in pretty much any position, um, and it pretty much stays there. I'll do this again, and let it clear. You can see it's climbing again, and you can turn the audible part of it off. So which is pretty pretty darn cool um, and this is you know your average uh, burns uh yellow I can't remember what the the map gas um, so it's just it burns a little hotter than regular propane uh, which is good for soldering joints and stuff like that and uh, so this unit does come with the, the case and a uh, USB charger. It does not come with the little block that you plug into the wall. Uh, but this uh, does acetone, acetylene, alcohol, ammonia, benzene, butane, ethanol, ethylene oxide, gasoline, hexane, hydrogen, methane, let's see if I can say this right, NAFA, natural gas, paint thinner, propane, organic solvents, refrigerants uh, that contain propane in them. And uh, so that's any comments, please comment. I'll, I've, I have, have a lot of experience using these, but I really like this gas detector. I've used a different one uh, at my work uh, for refrigerants. And uh, uh, I haven't actually tested this to see if it works on just a regular, like maybe 134A or uh uh you know something else like that but if i take this and uh kind of put it on i was trying to do this with 
um, opened up the gas line where it would run all the time, but uh, basically um, I kind of opened it up, burned it a little bit, and then kind of just shut it off. And that's when I did, I took this back off. You know, make kind of a little pop there. There should be a little, little bit of residual gas in there. So I'm gonna see if I can get this up here. Should be a little higher this time. Yeah, it's a little higher this time. So I just did it. Not quite in the red just yet. I guess it was all the way in the red. Pretty cool. Regular air. So, and then of course you got the end of the tank here. Pretty neat. I, I like. I really like this. Um, we only have a at, at my job as a maintenance guy. We uh, only see it not reading anything now. Of course, I'm not really down in there, but. Um, I got a nice audible. You can turn the audible part of it off. And uh, it's a really, really nice tool. Um, I think the major difference between this one and the five, uh, PT520A is this one is rechargeable. And the other one has takes regular batteries. I think that's the biggest difference between the two. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, if somebody else has the other one. I've seen a couple other videos on the 520A. Um, it's very similar. It's about, I think about half the price. This one I think is running, this one's like $67.99 right now on Amazon. And I'll leave a link in the description to that, uh, to this. And if, if you go down there and follow my link, um, and there's also a, I'll put a coupon code from TopTez, uh, gave me a, 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 uh, additional off coupon and uh, so I'll put that coupon code in the in the description as well and uh, you know send that out to you I think the the uh, 520a version is around $33 $34 somewhere in that range uh, but you got to use regular batteries on it like I said I think that's the biggest difference um, I really do like this tool. It's it's um, it's got a lot of nice features like uh, uh, fifty to uh, ten thousand uh, parts per million, uh, low battery indicator, ten minute auto off, uh, visual and auto uh, audible alert. You can press it to mute. Like I said, uh, easy to read screen, rechargeable. Uh, you can zero this out. Uh, measures part per million uh, and percentages measures the uh, 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 Celsius and Fahrenheit uh, temperature as well. So let me actually try that here. 38 Celsius. So you can see I'm, I'm in my garage and it's 100 degrees here in my garage. Um, so that kind of gives you an idea if you're, if you're using it for a couple different things, but, um, yeah, it's pretty hot in here. So anyway, the, uh, this is the PT 520B gas leak detector from Top Tez. Just a great, uh, great tool. Um, you can, like I said, you can turn this around, bend it, um, comes with a great case. And the specs on this, I'll read you this, these specifications. The sensor is gas sensitive semiconductor. The alarm mode, audible and visual alarms, audible alert, uh, 75 dB ticking, modulation uh, proportional to gas uh, concentration. The visual alert is an 11 time bar graph. The bar graph on the screen uh, climbs as the gas concentration increases. And then the range is 50 to 10,000 parts per million. And the on high sensitivity, which is where I had it set on, uh, there's a high sensitivity is 50 parts per million. A low sensitivity is 700 parts per million.